it's all for now. Okay. Alright. Doctor, how is the leg? As you can see, the bullet did not affect the femoral artery. So he's in good condition. So when can he walk without an aid? Well, soon. Very soon. It's just a matter of time, within a week or even less. Are you sure? Yes, madam, I'm sure. Um, he has to take his medications and follow the due medical advice. That's all. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have to see the pharmacist when you're leaving. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. My love. Yeah? How do you feel now? Oh, you heard the doctor. I mean, I, f I feel better than last week. Yes. I'm glad. Because I'm worried. You worry too much. Relax. I'm good. Okay. I mean, it's just my leg, not another place that was short. <laughs> Please, let's go. Can you help me put on my... But I thought you said it, yeah, okay. No, come on now, come on. Let's start from here. <laughs> Yes, what are you doing, please? What I'm doing? Yes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Eh? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't. Well, let me make it clear to you. It's been two weeks we buried our father. What are you still doing here? Eh? What are you still doing here? said, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. I know you will not understand what I'm saying because you have fish brain. Well, let me make it clear to you for you to understand. I can't fathom why a full-grown man will be seated in another man's house doing nothing, eating food morning, afternoon and night without even contributing, without even paying, a, paying the bills. Eh? What are you doing here? My father is late and buried. What are you still doing in his house? Don't you have a house? Go back to your own house. Did you hear what I said? If you want to have anything to do with my sister, I am not against it. But do it from your own house. You are a man. Go back to your father's house. Go back to your own house, Olga. Look. Ibuka. Ibuka. Ibuka, listen. Ibuka, even though you don't like me, 
and this court see demands that you should consider my situation right now. Really? Yes. Yes. Well, let me tell you something. I am out of the picture. Oh yes! You will not manipulate me as you're doing to Zara. Did you hear what I said? Oh Guga man leben no one. Oh moa, Balusiana Fwaya, who came moan a joker. You no go work for me. Did you hear what I said? Go back to your father's house. Seeing you here irritates me every day. You don't want to, I don't understand. Now, now, so, now, now so you they do your own show free. You follow my sister, you will be enjoying the food, enjoying everything in our own father's house. Are you okay? Let me tell you something. I don't want to see you here. I don't like you, Oga. Go back to your own house. I don't want to see you here. I don't want to see you. Why don't you go? Go back to your I don't like you too. No, I don't like it. Of course, the contract is still intact. You need to come to my office so that you can discuss properly. What is she leaving? Uh, please, can I call you back? Yes, just a few minutes, I'll call you back. Alright. Hey, Buka, what is it? I mean, the toy boy you've been hiding in this house. When is he leaving this house? The GK is my husband to be. Address him properly. Show some respect. After all, he's older than you are. I don't care if he's I don't care if he's older than I or not. What I'm saying is that I want him out of this house. Says who? Ebuka, Luciana Foya. Did you hear what I said? I want him out. Father never liked him. I don't know what he's doing in this house. Ebuka, I don't know what has come over you, but I tell you what. AGK is not going anywhere. This house is big enough to accommodate everybody. Jesus, Father built this house for family and not for strangers. Did you get it? I want him out of this house or I will take drastic measures that will not be comfortable with you or anyone in this house. Did you hear what I said? Let him out. We don't want him in this house. I don't know what he's doing here. This house is choking with him around. If he does not leave this house, I will take him alive or dead. Ebuka! Ebuka! Please, can you kindly uh, help me get water? Okay, bros. As what? Answer me, I said as what? Eh? Is he your housemate? Why will you send him to go and get you something? Eh? Emeka, please kindly get me water. Thank you. Oh, hey! Yes. If you step an inch from here, I will scare your life. Eh? This stranger will send you to go and get something and you will move. Are you okay? What is it again? Are you here? Huh? I want you to warn this fool. Did you hear what I said? No, 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 don't. Don't. Allow me, allow me to talk. Allow me to talk, please. He should not be sending my brother to go and get him anything in this house. Did you get it? If there is anyone that should be going errands in this house, he should be the one, not him. Ibuka, what has come over you? Look at the way you are shouting, ranting. Can't you have a moment of peace in this house? Can't we? There will be no peace in this house. Until this stranger leaves this house. This is my father's house. We don't want him. I don't want him. Did you get it? My father did not like him. So what is he doing here? 
My father is late. He should leave. He's not going anywhere. Ejika and I will be getting married very soon. So he's here to stay. Okay. He's your husband to be. Fine. If you've resolved to settle with this loafer of a guy, I don't have a problem with that. But what I do not understand is the phrase, he has come to stay. Come to stay where? Ejika and I will be getting married very soon. And we're going to be staying in this house. Our wedding comes up immediately after our father's customary mourning period is over. Then you must be out of your mind to think that I will sit here and watch that happen. It's not going to happen. You want to get married to someone that father abhorred while he was alive. And to think that is not enough. You still want to harbor him in this house. It's not going to happen. I will not allow that to happen. It will also interest you to know, my dear younger brother, that our father blessed this union before his demise. Actually, his last wish is that we should move into this beautiful house after our wedding. <laughs> She's around my daughter. Yes, Dad. AJK. I, I am sorry in any way I may have wronged you. I misjudged you person because I thought you were one of those boys trying to milk from another man's fat cow. But you have shown that I was wrong about you. The role you played in making sure that I get to this hospital in spite of the fact that you sustained a bullet injury. And everything you have done cannot be ignored. I am this deeply sorry. Sir, sincerely, I hold no grudges against you. I personally understand your sentiments towards my relationship with your daughter. But um, the truth of the matter is, sir, is I just wanted to be accepted as a son-in-law, of which I'm willing to do any and everything to please you, sir. What you did for me has shown how selfless you can be. And it is hard living to give you my daughter's hand in marriage. Because I know that my daughter will be in safe hands. Father, wait. What are you saying? You mean we can... Yes. Ah! yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my love. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> but you, there's one more thing I need to ask of you, my children. I know I might not live here alive. No, Father. Father, please don't talk like that. You're recovering in no distant time. You will live here. Yes, sir. Please just stay positive. Nothing will happen to you. The truth is that it's not that I want to die. But I cannot run away from the inevitable. I have one, just one favor to ask of you. Chisa. Father. Please. I want you and educate to stay back in the house after your wedding. To look after your siblings. And to put everything in proper order. Until they are strong enough to stand on their own. All right, Father. That won't be a problem. I'll carry out your request. But like I said before, you're not going anywhere. Nothing will happen to you. <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So happy. Thank you, sir. Lies! Never! It's not going to happen. Eh? I know that you both are manipulative agents. It's not going to happen at all. I will not allow that to happen. I know my father too well. I know that he will not approve this idiot to marry you. It's not possible. Let me tell you, I am the father of the house at the moment. It is my regime. And whatever I say stands. You're not going to marry him. Even if you are getting married to him, it will not be under this roof. It will not happen. You both will not live here. Let me see you in my father's house. You have to leave my father's house. Yes. I'm home, Goku. 
I'm here, 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 i am here 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 i am here
the feeling, the joy. You don't understand. Please, please. You might think I don't understand, but I so do understand. I mean, do you think I'm happy? You think I'm happy I've lost the first fruit from my loins? First pregnancy? Of course not. But what can I do? But be strong. And I'm telling you, my beautiful wife, you're going to get pregnant again. I don't want another pregnancy. I want my Kamsi Yochuku. I want to give birth to her. I want to carry her in my arms. No, 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 no. Is that too much it to ask? Not. It is not. It is not. It is not. Okay, but we cannot question God. We cannot. Okay? He's the author and finisher of our faith. We cannot. Wait, Kamsi Yochuku didn't come now, maybe because God said it's not the right time and at the right time she will come. Kamsi Yochuku will come. Okay? So please, please, just be strong, okay? And you have as many Kamsi Yochukus as you want. Please. Please. Please, it's okay. Yeah. Wow! See who we have here. What a pleasant surprise. So surprised to see you in my office today. Right, that you mean I shouldn't have come? No, but you've not come to my office before. So it's not strange if I am surprised. Please do sit. Alright, it's okay. Um, please, um, I want you to calm down. Necessary, please, and treat. That's not the reason I'm here. So, why did you come? I want to see my brother today. Now. What did you just say? You heard me loud and clear. I want to see my father's will. Or, don't I have the right to see my father's will? Of course you do. But that should be at the appropriate time. My world has time but to do with me seeing my family. Everything, everything will do things accordingly. You see, these are still the days of money for your family. And until the days of money are over, nobody sees the way. Does that matter? Eh? I want to see it here. It does. Honestly, it does. If that is why you are here, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You cannot see the way. Yeah, but, but I, do, I do not want to have any issues with you, right? I demand I see that will. Since you said uh, it's a, we see one time for money and all that, okay, no problem. But I'll give you one week. One week, I'll come back. By then, I'm sure we must have finished morning, so I will see the will. Else, you'll have problem with me, and you will not like it. Yes, we have closed the deal with the oil firm. We are waiting for their mobilization so we can start building their estate. Yes, you know my late father did a great job. As regards to all the achievements we have recorded over the years. And we are not just trying to keep up with the standards, but to take the company to a greater height. <laughs> Oh yes, my dear, we need all the luck in the world right now. Thank you so much. All right, take care of yourself. Bye. Hello, ma'am. There you go again with your... Hello, ma'am. You are my friend and it's just both of us in this office. I'm constantly demands that all protocols must be duly observed. Regardless, you are still my boss. Have you forgotten? And you are still my friend. Have you forgotten? <laughs> Please sit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Once again, congratulations, Zara. I knew it wasn't easy to get the job done, but you are such a superstar. You pulled it up, girl, and I'm super proud of you. 
Well, my friend, congratulations to us. It was a collective effort and we all did our best. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it still wouldn't have been possible without your indescribable leadership qualities. Our late chairman, I mean your father, was a great man. But having you as our current head, I see a greater future for this establishment. Zara, you are not just beautiful and intelligent. I mean, you are a wonder woman. And I see us doing better. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you so much, my good friend. You know you have you have a way with words. <laughs> Thank you. Okay now, I brought this for you. Okay, let me see what you have here. You're doing well. <laughs> nice one. Okay, I'll let you go for a little while. I get back to work. All right, then. See you later. Thank you. Baby, yeah, they say I don't go love. Every day I yeah, think about you. I know I say I don't go live without you. And anywhere you dare, not there I want to go. Cause your love would be born like fire. It is sweet in my body like sugar. Sweet lover, you captured my You're a bad girl, right? Mm hmm. Is anyone complaining? Not really. Men like hers don't complain. You know that, right? I take this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I well, thought as much. Uh, don't take like that. More. No, no, no. I don't want to. You don't want to take more. Mm -hmm. What do you want? You sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. What is going on here? Now what does it look like? Hmm? So it okay, it has gotten to a point you bring in a prostitute into our family house and shamelessly make out with her in our father's private living room. I beg your pardon, and who is the prostitute here? And who asked you to talk? Please and please, I wouldn't have you insult me. If you aren't a prostitute, then what are you? If there's any prostitute here, then it's you, not me. Hey, hey, now you listen here, okay? I will not have you. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want to do to her? I'm saying, what do you want to do to my woman? Woman. What in God's name is wrong with you? Wait, you, you mean you rather have a stranger insult your sister in front of you? How senseless could that be? You call me senseless? Of course that is senseless. Listen, let me tell you. Hey, guy, let me tell you something, okay? I've tolerated your excesses. It doesn't mean I don't know what to do. So what will you do to me? Hey you! What are you still doing here? Get out! Hey, 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 hey. She, Get out! She's going nowhere. Oh there yes, is, she will leave this house. She will not leave this house. If there's anyone to leave, it's this toy boy that you brought in here. You are the one to leave. She will not leave. Huh? What do you want to do to me? Tell me! Do it! Let me see. Baby, let's go upstairs. Huh? Sorry. Sorry. Babe, I tell you, this is juvenile delinquency. I tell you, that is it. Just, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Baby, get up for life. Baby, get for life. What's up? Who is that? Brother, 
it's me. Who? Who are you? It's me, America. America? Okay. What do you want? Sister Cheese had asked me to call you. What? Sister Cheese had asked me to call hey! you. Hey! Will you get out of that place now? Okay, hey, 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 hey. Tell her that I'm busy with an important meeting. I'm busy with my business. Did you hear what I said? Out! Nonsense. Can you imagine? What nonsense? Who does she even think she is trying to push you around like some sort of houseboy? Your sister is so annoying. Hey, babe. Um, um, please. You have to watch your tongue, right? It's my sister we are talking about here. I'm sorry, babe. I'm really sorry. It's fine. I think I will go and see her now. I'll be back soon, okay? Baby, you don't have to go. We're having fun. I want to keep me hanging. I know, go down, yeah. calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? I will see her shortly and then I'll be back for us to continue. I can't wait to devour you. You can say that again. Alright. Be back soon. I'm waiting. Alright, babe. Um. Sent for me. What is it? Sit. Hey, I'm not ready for all this. I have something I'm attending to inside too. Tell me what is it, please. Sit. Please. All right. Fine. So, what is it? Ebuka, you are my brother. And you know I can't deceive you. I don't get it. You called me out here to tell me that I'm your brother. I know that I'm your brother, so what is it? Tell me what you want to say. I have something I'm Our parents to. brought us up in a responsible way. But what you did today, or rather, what you're doing, is a far cry from that. Oh. Your point? It is irresponsible of you to bring in a prostitute or whatever she's called into our family house. Mm. Yes. Our father wouldn't have clapped for you if he were to be here today. Okay. Fine. I heard you. But I want to ask you. What would father say or do to you? for bringing in someone he forbade you from seeing into his house. Answer me that. Ebuka, I've told you times without number, our father blessed our union. Mm. As a matter of fact, he said we should move into this house after our marriage. You think I was lying? Yes. I know you are lying. Oh, you want me to believe this your cock and bull story? Not me. I know our father. He's not someone that you push around. He's not someone that changes his stance over something just like that. Okay. Let me assume that what you're saying is the truth. He said you should bring in your husband after marriage. What is going on now? Are you married to him now or not? Oh, please. What is he doing here? Please, Ebuka, stop asking unnecessary questions. You know why Ejike is here. Ah, I know. 
you brought in your stupid and lousy boyfriend into our father's house. Watch it. To massage you every night. And you're angry that I'm doing the same. Should I call that jealousy? Jealousy? Of what exactly? Listen, Ibuka, go in there and send that prostitute out of our family house this minute. I will not do that. You will! Hey, let me spell this out for you. I am the man of the house. I decide who stays and who leaves. And as I'm speaking to you now, I want that idiot out of my father's house. I will not repeat myself. I have something I'm attending to. Don't stand on my way because you can't stop me. Send him out of my father's house. He does not belong here. Let us come over here. Don't give him more way cold shoulder. I'm eh? gonna move out of Siena for a year. Is that why you left me here for God knows how long? Okay. I'm here now. Isn't that all that matters? Really? Is that all you have to say? Okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Eh? I'm so sorry. Did you get it? But I just went to settle one or two. And I'm back here to take care of my baby. I'm back here to know me. You're saying sorry I'm using for a long time. Ah, it's okay. Shh. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Benjamin, what are you doing here? I came to see you. See me for what? You're not supposed to be here. Why? Ben, I'm a married woman. I can't seem to see any ring on your finger. Well, soon to be a married woman. Even when we know that your late father never approved of him. Who told you that? Let's just say that I have my ears on the ground. Well, you have the wrong information. I'll soon be getting married. And I wouldn't want you to bring problems between me and my husband. Do you love him? Where is that question coming from? Ask me. Do you love him? The same way you love me? Does he make you feel the same way I made you feel? Snap out of it, Benjamin. Stop living in the past. As you can see, I have moved on. I suggest you do so. No, no, no. I can't seem to love another if not you. Hmm. And I, I cannot just Keep up on you just like that. Can't you see? Mm. How sweet. Yet you cheated on me. Not once. Not twice. But three good times. Excluding the ones I didn't see. And here you are in my office telling me how much you love me. I admit. 
I admit that I messed up. I wasn't true with my words. I betrayed the trust and the love you have for me. But that doesn't change the fact that I still love you. I was stupid, foolish, and childish. But I still love you. I have come to realize my mistakes and I want to correct them. Please. Well, my dear, it's too late. I belong to someone else now. And yes, I love him. I know deep down in your heart. You still love me. But my mistakes is making it so impossible for you to admit it. But I promise you this. I will never stop loving you. If it is not you, I can love another. Do you have a wonderful day? My late father's clothes. Has he gotten to that? Excuse eh? me. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse me. What are you the talking? Jewelry and the, 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 the clothes you're wearing on. Who who owns it? What are you talking about? I mean, who gave you the right to wear my late father's clothes? And you're talking about what you're talking about. She gave everything to me. I mean, what, I who, who is she? Who is she? Of course you know who is she. What was this? Jesus. What's this? What's understand what is going on in this house. Mm -hmm. eh? Who gave this idiot the right to wear my late father's clothes? Eh? You just called my husband and he's before me. Who gave him the right to wear these clothes? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. You're, 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 you're talking nonsense. When I gave him the permission to wear and use Without my consent? I don't get it. You, you learn to do things in this house without my consent? Hey, boy, eh? Sorry, who are you again? Need I remind you that I am your elder sister, the first child of our father. I have every right to do whatever I want with our father's property. Gee, sir. Gee, sir. I am the first son to late Chief Ezugu. And tradition and culture gives me every right to do whatever thing I am doing now. As the first son. Oh my dear brother. Did you get it? I says, when did you start listening to what tradition and culture says, Mr. Diobara? Since when? Oh. Do you expect me to answer that? Do you expect me to answer that? Listen and listen very good. Like I said before, I am your elder sister, the first child. I am in charge. It is my duty to take care of you and everything our father owns, unless his will says otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch and see. Let it is my duty to take care of you, let Undertaker. Let Let's go. watch and see. Let me take Let's this. go. I am in charge. Let's go. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, I'm going to you if you're alive. Eh? You my father's house. I will teach you a lesson. You will understand. Hey, hey, hey,
dear God is good. Oh, wow. You know, I kind of suspected it's just that I didn't want to give you false hope. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, my dear Sonia. I mean, after I lost the last pregnancy, I, I was waiting and hoping before this one came. And now it has wiped away the scars of the one I lost. Of course. I'm grateful. Very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, <laughs> look at who we have here. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine. <laughs> wow. Why not we go inside so that um, I entertain you no, so well? That won't be necessary. As you can see, I'm already on my way. Oh, really? Okay. Very well, then let me drop you off. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 my Uber is around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Okay. Is anyone the one calling me? <laughs> <laughs>